Hello. All right, this is day number one of the four day video series on the mindset shifts required for weight loss, for having more energy, to stop the emotional and stress eating, and the sabotage. And what else are we talking about? And really living a healthier, happier life, right? To midlife and beyond. So if you're in this Facebook group, you're most likely a woman over eight, over 40. <laughs> Let's just say over 80, oh my God. Over 40. And you are interested in healthy living over this age. And it's so important um, to know the little shifts that are required within you also, right? Because your body is different. It has changed. It is changing. What used to work doesn't work anymore. And so what I help women with is really about the food, right? Learning what foods are right for you so that you can have more energy, start to decrease, like get rid of some of that excess weight that tends to come on in this phase of life, as well as um, decreasing your inflammation within your body, increasing your immune system, right? Boosting your immune system and living longer, having more, having more youthful skin, better hair growth. Oh my God, less stress. That's a lot of things I talk about. Uh, but in this video series, it's definitely on mindset. <clears throat> so today, day number one is about mindset for weight loss specifically. And one Im really important thing is that if you are not sure why or what you are doing that is working against you, then it's hard to know what to change. Now in this four days, so the day number one is on the weight loss, the mindset for weight loss. Day number two is on energy. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean mindset for energy? I need more energy. Maybe I need to sleep better. Maybe I need to exercise. I don't know why I have, right? You will be surprised at how your mindset, the way you think, the things you believe, uh, the words you say, how you talk to others, the energy you allow in from others, all of that. So day number two is going to be about the energy. Like, um, and you'll be surprised how much you can affect. Hi, Goody, how you doing? How you can affect your energy by shifting and changing some your mindset. Also, day number three is about stress, emotion, stress eating and emotional eating. Really big topics for many people, I think. Day number four is about on again, off again, all or nothing attitudes and sabotage. So make sure you check in with these videos. So this is in my Facebook group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. If you are watching from YouTube, you can, um, I'm going to be putting it up on YouTube, but I'm going to be pulling down the videos. Like these videos are going to go into more like a little program. So they won't be up forever on YouTube. So make sure to watch them as they drop. Today is the first day number one. So let's start talking about weight loss. What's going on? What are some of the thoughts and things that keep you um, where you are without losing the weight? It is so incredible that we don't even realize the things we're thinking and how we're talking and how they can keep us stuck, right? So that's what you're going to find out today. So if you have a journal, you have a notebook, make sure to get that and a pen. If you're watching the replay, let me know you're watching the replay. I will also be giving away one free one-on-one -on -one session with me valued at 222 And that is going to be given away at the end of these four videos. So let me know you've watched live. Say, yes, I'm watching live. Also, um, let me know that you've watched the replay, okay? And not just jumped on for one second. I want to know that you've actually watched the replay. And I'm just trying to get on to my network here, you guys, on Facebook. Um, my computer's not loading, so we're going to see how that goes. So what I want you to consider is think of these things. What you focus on expands. What you believe, you achieve. What you expect, you get. What you resist persists, and the loudest and most dominant frequent <clears throat> voice in your head wins. I'm going to be posting those later because, oh my God, what a huge, huge, huge difference, right? All of these things is also why you're not getting the results. So those are just some little quote things that help you think and go, oh, wow, that is so true. Where is my focus most of the time? Where are my thoughts most of the time? If you're somebody who's wanting to lose weight, right, you're probably most of the time thinking, I just can't lose weight. This isn't working for me. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Right? Things like that. So that is a lot of what's holding you up is your thoughts. Because your thoughts 
really do create your reality. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say I'm on live now because I don't see people. Okay. Sorry about this for those watching the replay. Just pass, fast forward through this. So when you think about trying to lose weight, right? What comes into your head, you start to think about, oh my God, I don't like this about myself. I'm feeling terrible. I hate this belly. I hate this. I don't like this. Oh my God, right? We get all this negative energy around us and we start talking to ourselves, not in a good way. Really kind of like almost shaming. Why did you let this happen? How could you let this happen? Oh my God, right? And then you might go into thinking about what you have to do to lose the weight. Oh, I need to find a diet. Maybe I should do keto. Everybody says keto works, but I really don't want to eat that much fat and meat. I don't like eating meat. It doesn't feel good to me. I don't know how to follow it properly. What if I have to decrease my calories? I already don't eat a lot of calories. I really think I'm eating healthy. I'm sure I'm eating healthy. How come this doesn't work? What's wrong with my body? Is anything going to work? I don't think anything's going to work. I've tried diets before. I've seriously tried diets before. I've done really well and then I sabotaged. Or sometimes they didn't even work. I was good for two weeks. Then I just went back to eating my stuff and I gained even more weight after. Right? So these things go on in your head when you begin to think about losing weight. So what does that say? What is the energy behind those thoughts? Very deprivating, very depriving, very, I don't want to do this. And then we're like, I should do this. I need to do this. I have to do this. Right? And if you're anything like me, I don't like being told what I have to do. If it's not what I want to do, I don't like being told what I have to do. You must do this to get this result. You have to do this. And especially if it's things that you think are going to be painful, right? Like, I have to, like, what am I, what do I got to do? I just smoothies all day and eat salads? I don't want to do that. That sucks. I won't be able to go out with friends for dinner. What if someone invites me over to their house? What am I going to eat when I'm there? Oh my God. Do I have to give up coffee? I don't want to give up coffee. I love coffee. What about wine? Do I have to not drink any wine? Oh my God. I, I don't want to give up wine. It's winter, it's, you know, fall and winter. I don't want to give up my wine. It's the only thing I have. After a stressful day, I like to have my glass of wine. Oh my God. <laughs> Women's thoughts, right? That's, those are some of the things that go on in our head. No wonder. Just think about it. No wonder you don't follow through. Or no wonder you procrastinate and don't start. So I'm going to give you some tips in this video. We're, we are, you are going to get some actions to take. And I'm also going to give you... Um, some like a bit of homework, like journaling things, things to think about, things to write out that will really help shift things for you. When you change your perspective, things around you change. When you change your inner self, things on the outer change. That's proven, right? So it's really about working on, I'm going to uncover and bring awareness to what my actual beliefs are, where my thoughts are most of the time, and how those things are preventing what I actually want. That's huge, right? Just turned up the heat so much. Right? That's huge. All right. So let's get into it a little more. So if you think that this weight loss, losing weight, is going to mean loss, I'm going to lose things I really love. Coffee, wine, um, time. Because if you believe it's going to take lots of time in the kitchen, prepping and planning, you're like, that's going to take all my time. I don't want to give up all my free time, right? Things like that. No fun. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be painful. I'm not going to like it. It's going to be a struggle. Oh my God, right? You're not going to do it. So here's a little exercise I want you to do. And I'm going to post it in the video comments, okay? Not an exercise. It's, it's just a, well, it kind of is. So let's go through this. Where's my video? There I am. Okay, I want you to write out a statement. Statement. Oopsie. Statement. Okay. 
eating healthy because when it comes to weight loss, I would hope by now, hi Stephanie, <laughs> I would hope by now that eating for weight loss, that you are going to think about health and not just, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the weight off. I don't care if it's healthy or not. No, at this phase of your life, ladies, I hope that you are thinking, I want to do this the healthy way. So, right? So let's say eating healthy equals, and then I want you to fill the end of that statement with, uh, you know, negative, negative beliefs you have on it. The negative beliefs. This is where you're going to see the beliefs that are holding you back. Okay. Eating healthy equals oh, hours in the kitchen, um, boring food, food that doesn't taste good. I have no idea what's really healthy. Um, all of these statements, right? I don't want to. Deprivation, decreasing calories, um, eating bird food. <laughs> Someone said to me once, you, that bird food stuff you eat. <laughs> that was my mom. Um, all of those things, right? Like, so get it all out on a piece of paper, all of the things, and just let your mind go. Don't overthink it. Don't analyze it. Don't beat yourself up. Just let yourself go and write out all the things that you really think that eating healthy would be like. Or you could choose this statement. I'm not too much of a fan of using this statement, but I will put it in there in case this is something you want to try, okay? You could also do losing weight equals same as we did before and then write out all the negative beliefs you have about losing weight because you want to see so you won't like we said you you achieve what you believe if you don't believe something you're not going to achieve it if you believe it's going to be really hard it will be hard okay that will be a reality but you can shift it and I'm going to show you how so losing weight equals super hard and painful um Again, losing weight, eating less and less food, exercising like crazy, um, <clears throat> doing things I really don't want to do. Oh, I'm so glad you're drinking your smoothie. <laughs> right on, Stephanie. Doing things I don't want to do, eating food I don't like, not being able to hang out with friends, not being able to go to someone. When I'm at someone's house for dinner, it means I can't eat the food they serve and they're going to feel awkward and I'm going to feel awkward. Being uncomfortable. When I go out for dinner with friends, I will feel awkward ordering just a salad. So things like that really get out all the all the really things you believe about these statements. Then you will see right in front of you. That's why I don't do it. These are my beliefs. Then you want to change it. So after you write out all the, the kind of negative things, seeing the true and don't judge yourself. Just seeing these are really thoughts that enter my mind. Then you want to go with the statement, I am now choosing to believe. I'm now choosing to believe that then it's going to be the positive. Eating healthy equals, and these are positive statements. Eating healthy equals more energy. Eating healthy equals eventually the weight will come off. Eating healthy equals my skin will look better and more youthful. Eating healthy equals my clothes will fit better. Eating healthy equals my cells are being nourished and that means better health. Eating healthy equals decreased inflammation like less aches and pains. Eating healthy e equals better digestion. I will feel better, not as much bloating. All of those things. Same with you can do the op you can do the same for losing weight. Losing weight equals, right? I will feel like lighter i will be able to do more activities outside i will be able to do things i haven't done in a while i will be able to um i don't know whatever you want to put for whatever you believe losing weight is going to bring to you and what i want you to understand is you want to focus on what you desire not on what you don't desire so you, most of the time we focus on the things we have to give up the things that will be painful the things that we want to avoid the things that we don't like about ourselves right? That's where our thoughts are most of the time. That's just kind of the way women are, which is really unfortunate. And the best thing you can do is say, this is for me, for my health. I'm at a phase in my life where I can choose health or I can choose to stay stuck and stay going in circles and tell myself I'm always confused and always stuck and never understand and can't do this and can't do that, right? No. You're not going to choose that route anymore. 
And it's a decision. You can stay stuck in the, I can't, it's not working, it'll never work, um, I have to give up too much, it'll suck, all of those things. But just think, right? Just think to yourself, do I want to stay stuck in those past thoughts, behaviors, patterns? Do I really want to stay stuck like that? No, I don't like it. Because those thoughts, patterns, behaviors lead, have got you where you are, right? To a situation where you are right now. So then it's up to you. It's up to you. It's truly up to you to just go, the best thing you can begin to change right now is how you think about it. The best thing you can do right now, start right now without even changing what you eat right now, is to change your focus, right? Get away from what you don't want, not happy with. Get towards what you desire, what makes you happy, what's going to feel good for you, and how that's going to benefit your life, all right? That's what you really want to. And commit. So it could be that you don't trust yourself. I've tried too many diets in the past. I've tried this before. I've never stuck with it. That is a huge one. By the time we hit this age, you know, in life, most likely we've tried many, many things, right? Maybe you've never had a weight problem before. Like I didn't when I went into perimenopause and I started gaining the weight. I couldn't stop it. And I'm like, what the, f what's going on? So it kind of freaks you out and you're like, I have no idea what to do. Right. So we go right into this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to work. Nothing seems to work. That panic almost. You got to let that go. It's more like that's the old way of thinking. I'm now going to choose something new. What you resist persists. Resisting the way you are now. Hating the way you are now. Not talking good about yourself. Continually putting your body down or yourself down unfortunately keeps it that way and that we can talk about anything in life it could be about finding a guy finding the, or a woman or whatever finding the love of your life it never works there's always terrible ones out there I've had such bad experiences they're always good at first and then they turn ooh, out to be nutcases right it could be anything that you're wanting to change or do in your life how you think about it, the words you say, the things you tell yourself in your thoughts, the words you talk about with your friends, the way you explain things with your friends, all contribute to what stays in your life, right? Because you affirm them over and over again. I have fat. I can't lose the fat. Look at my belly. My belly's so fat. My clothes don't fit. What's going on? Nothing works. I can't find anything that works. What you're doing there is you're telling God, source, universe, and you're telling every cell in your body what you believe is true and it's going to stay that way. So what you got to do is decide, I'm going to change things. I'm going to do whatever it takes until it takes. And it's okay. I know that I'm working towards me being the healthiest I can be. I'm working towards loving myself, accepting myself, being healthy and feeling good. That's what I want. Right? What do you think losing the weight will give you? How do you think you will feel once you lose the weight? Write that down. I'm just going to write that in here. The weight will give you, give you. Uh, how do you think you, whoopsie. Feel after losing the weight. Whoopsie. Right? Write all of that down. Write all of that down. Okay. And just kind of take a look at it. And then, oh wow, especially your feelings, you can begin to feel things now, right? Act as if, feel as though you are in the state of having it now. That is really the manifestation process. and But I have to say that's one of probably things that are a little more difficult because you're like, but I don't have it now. So notice that each time you say, but I don't have it now, this isn't right. Woof. Wow, do I ever hold on to those thoughts? We just notice what thoughts you're grabbing onto and holding on to so tight and you don't want to let go. Are you holding on so tight to the thought that nothing works for you? 
And you are continually telling us or telling people why nothing works and that it doesn't work. I've tried everything. I have tried everything and nothing works. See, I told you this won't work. Look at you told me to do this. You told me to do that and nothing works. See, nothing works. I'm hopeless. I'm helpless, right? That is such a hold on. You're holding on to those truths because in the moment you see them as truths. This is the way it is. You're holding on to your beliefs and you're not willing to let them go. So they won't go. This is a big one to, to actually realize and for people to go, oh, wow. And you almost, it can make you cry. It can make you just fall apart and go, well, then I, there's, I don't know what to do. Here's the thing. It takes, it's a little process. It takes a while. You start practicing it now every single day. Watching your thoughts, watching your words, noticing where what you say to others about it, noticing what you say to yourself about it, noticing how you feel about your body, noticing how you feel about the process and choosing to change that. I feel, I see myself going into frustration, anger, resentment. I feel that. That's not helping me. Now, usually there's a judgment behind the feeling, right? I'm feeling this because I feel helpless. I feel like I'm never going to do it. I feel like I'm a terrible person. That's not true, right? So you then you notice, wow, behind it all is this judgment about myself. And that's what feels so crummy. And then on the other hand, we can look at what we're going to feel, what we believe we will feel when you lose weight. And I have women say, I'll feel confident. I'll love myself more. Um, men will be attracted to me more. And what I have to say about that, as a thin person, that is not true. <laughs> your weight does not determine your confidence. Your weight does not determine attracting a great guy at all. Your weight does not determine feelings of happiness. It doesn't. If it did, all slim models would be happy, would have an amazing guy and would be fully confident. And they're not. So weight does not determine your happiness. Weight does not determine your confidence. Weight does not determine you attract an amazing relationship at all. So we really got to kind of see, oh, wow, I actually believe that. You can have all those things now. You don't need to have a slimmer body. You don't need to lose the weight. And that's also get what you get to focus on. What can I really experience now? I don't need to have all the weight loss right now. I can begin to experience. I can begin to be more confident in who I am. I can begin to love myself now and accept myself fully, knowing that I get to work towards something. We're always wanting to improve ourselves most of the time, whether it's with our 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 career our business so it doesn't matter if it's weight loss it's okay you are allowed to think I want to improve myself right but also that comes from accepting yourself where you are now that's when you can enjoy the process I love myself now I love myself enough to want to choose to be healthy happy look in a way that I love um, have a great relationship have fun in the future do the things I want to do is that why you want to lose weight? Those things you can begin now, no matter what your weight is, right? You can really begin to love life now, no matter what your weight is. You are the one that's letting the weight say whether or not you can have those things. So I just kind of want you to understand that. So it's a great shift. It's like, wow, I'm the one holding myself back. I'm the one, because I'm thinking this way, believing these things, it's causing me to not like who I am right now, to hate it. And it also, the way you think about what you have to do to lose the weight, right? I have to eat terrible tasting food. Oh, I can't go to restaurants. I can't have coffee. I can't have wine. I can't have any desserts, which none of that is true. Um, in my programs, I show you, we all work towards what's good for you. And there may be a little bit of time you need to get rid of certain things, but it's because we want to better balance your body and your hormones. But just know it is not about deprivation. It is not about having to live in a way that you hate, that you don't like. It's not about doing exercise you hate. It's not about doing four hours a day of food prep. That's all not true. 
Not true, not true, not true. Right? So you need to get real on what you really believe. You need to slash out the things that are not really true. Listen to your thoughts, your words, how you speak to others about the situation you are in right now. Choose something different. Start from a place of love, compassion, knowing I can be all that now. I can be all that now. I can love myself now. I'm working towards losing the weight. I'm finding solutions that work for me. And that's a really, really good one to think about. I'm found finding solutions that work for me. Um, build a picture of how you desire to look. When I was working on losing weight after pregnancy, after I had my daughter, and then in perimenopause when I had gained the weight. I'm a very visual person, so are you visual? If you are visual, you can paint a picture of how you desire to look in your in your in your head, like have this vision. You can do a vision board, whatever. Or put it on the fridge, right? Put a picture of someone on the fridge. Um, but you want to have this vision, and when you look at the picture, the vision, you don't want to beat yourself up. Oh my god, I'll never look like that. How stupid, what am I thinking? I'm gonna fail, this will never happen. That is you being the victim. You are being a victim. The number one thing that you can begin to do is empower yourself. Come from an empowering place. Personal power. I'm choosing personal power. I'm choosing responsibility for how I am. How I think. How I, what I believe. My thoughts. All of those things. First, all of the inside, that personal power comes out and it changes your actions. And changes your reality, changes what really happens for you, right? So I'm starting this journey. I will learn things. I'm going to find what works for me. I'm in the process of um, applying different things. I'm in the process of finding what works for me. I'm excited to on this journey. I know that this is going to be the healthiest thing I can do for myself. I'm working on health and my wellness. This is a phase of my life when I'm choosing to be good to me, putting myself as a priority doing things that feel good to me, nourishing my body, nourishing my cells, all of those things. That's where you get to put your focus. That's where you put your focus, right? That is the empowering place. The victim place is nothing works. I've tried diets. Believe me, I'm eating healthy and it still doesn't work. I don't know what to do. There's so much confusing information. I'm frustrated and mad. That person said this. I tried it. It doesn't work. Obviously, nothing's going to work for me. I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to spend tons of money because it's not going to work anyways. I don't trust myself. I always sabotage. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> All of those things that we can have circling around in our head. That's what stops you. Right? All right. Well, so I will... Um, write out those things for you guys in a separate post, kind of like day one thoughts, or I hate to just call them homework. It's kind of that way, but right. What beliefs do I have? What are the real beliefs? And that's when it's like losing weight equals or eating healthy equals. Where's my focus and thoughts most of the time during the day, start being conscious of where your focus and thoughts are most of the time. What do I think I need to do that? I don't want to do. Oh my God. That's such a big one. I'm going to write that in here. Because you're not going to do them. I got to exercise two hours a day just to lose this weight. Well, who's going to want to do that? I got to eat salads and nothing but salads and smoothies. And if you don't like those things, you're going to avoid it. You're not going to do it. Right? So what do you think you really have to do? And then take a look at them. They're probably some of them aren't even really true. You don't have to exercise two hours a day. In fact, that'll actually make you gain more weight. Right? What do I think I need to do that I don't want to do? And what will I commit to for one week? Here's the thing. I want you to commit to something, one, two, or three items that you're going to do for just even one week. I'm going to have two smoothies and one large salad a day at least, right? I'm going to walk or exercise 30 minutes every three times a week. And I'm going to do yoga the other two times a week. And I'm going to eat like every meal, I'm going to have lots of veggies and I'm going to have two green smoothies a day. Something like that. That may sound like a lot. So I'm going to have one green smoothie in the morning, one in the afternoon for one week positively. And then you eat whatever else you eat, right? You got to start somewhere. Commit to yourself. 
Commit in a way that you can actually do it. I, yes, I choose to do these things for one week. I can do them for one week. That sounds good. Yes, I can. Do them. That's how you build trust, faith, and belief in yourself again. Right? It's by showing yourself you can do it. You will stick with it. And then again, watch your thoughts. Hello, those watching. If you are watching, say hello. Comment even for the replay. I'm going to be giving a one-on-one -on -one session away um, with me. For those who have watched the lives and those who have watched the full replays, so let me know. And also for those who have done the homework. Okay, that is day number one. Day number two is tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Pacific. And that is on the mindset of more energy. Having more energy. And also, um, what do I want to say? How your energy affects the li your life. And that we're, so we're talking energy as in, I feel, I feel more energy. I feel more vibrant. And also the energy that you give off to the world and the energy that you allow in. So other people's energy, the energy that's in the environment and stuff and how that affects your health and your, your actually vitality and energy also. All right. That is tomorrow. And then we have one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Saturday, 9.30 a.m., Sunday, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific. Okay, everything's posted in this group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. Give this a like if you like this video, love, whatever. And please comment so I know that you have watched. And if you have any questions, post them below. So much love to you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for those who are doing this for themselves because this is the best thing you can do for yourselves is work on you, work towards a healthier, happier life. It doesn't matter what age you are. All right, bye-bye.